He's house number zero, house number one, house number two, house number three, house number four. And my lesson is about rounding off, which is a strategy that can be used for addition and subtraction. However, the rounding off has to be taught separately before they can use it as a strategy. And house number 10, Amber. You're going to be going for a walk. When she gets to a certain house, it started raining, she had to put her umbrella up and she had to move to the last house or to the first house, depending which was closer to her because she didn't want to get too okay, wet. Run, it's raining. Run, 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 run. Stop it, Junior. And Junior's going to let you in. Can you remember what number Junior was? Ten. Ten, good girl. And let's work out what number Rachel was. Ten, nine, eight, seven. So if we were by seven, is it quicker to run to ten or quicker to run to zero? to 10, am I right? Okay. This allows a child to experience concretely what is going to be eventually translated onto a worksheet. Stop, that's a version. Right, and the rain starts coming down. Are you gonna run all the way to Junior or are you gonna run quickly back to Le Table? Why are you going to go to Le Table? Because it's much more fluid. Let's go. Run, 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 run. Good. With the halfway, they can go either way, to the beginning or to the end. And once that had to be explained no, as to which way they could run. go. Are you going to run that way? Or are you going to run that way? I'm going to run to Le Table. Okay, let's check. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five. Is it the same? So you are halfway, am I right? Once the child has made the estimation and has gone to the end or has decided to go to the end or the beginning, you have to confirm that that estimation is correct. The same little umbrella is now above house number eight. eight. Which way is that person going to run? The right. To the right. Is it going to be faster to run to 10 or to have to run all the way back to zero to ten so it's going to be quicker to run to ten because there's only two houses left to go well done again we followed it up concretely by counting forwards and backwards to check which whether we were correct we walking along and it starts to rain when I get to number 34 show me with your hands which way you're gonna run show me with your hands here we running to the left Right, why are we running to the left? Le table. Because it's too short. It's shorter to run to 30 than it is to go all the way to 40. Let's check that quickly. One, two, three, four. And on the other side? One, two, three, four, five, six. Was Le table right? What is 30 and 40? 30 and 40 are open. But when we count in tens, do 30 and 40 come there? Yes. Yes, let's check. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So they're part of tens, am I right? Yes. If we put them there, we could have 10, we could have 20, 30, 40, what's the next one in tens? 50. 50. The next one? 60. 60. The one after that? 70. 70. And those are the houses that are always unlocked. Am I right? Yes. The ones that go in tens are the houses that are always unlocked. After discussing the concept and finishing with the concept, the class is given work. Another worksheet of work that they have previously done. A small group is called to the carpet. I started with the weaker group um, because they would need more time to, to have it explained to them. It means that we go to the nearest 10, okay? And that's what your counting in tens is important about. You're going to your nearest 10, okay? And it's rounding it off. That's what it's called, okay? So say that with me. Rounding off is going to your nearest 10. Hannah, can you tell me what, where the umbrella is? 25. At 25. Draw a circle around 25. Right. So you're going to run. Show me with your finger which way you're going to run. To 30. Can you also run the other way, Hannah? Why can you run the other way as well? 
That's why it's like the same. It's the same. It's in the middle. Because it's the same on both sides. It's in the middle. Am I right? Okay. So 25 is in the middle. So which one are you going to choose? Any side. Any side. Good. So you can put down 20 or you can put down 30. 30. So you can choose which one you're going to put down, 20 or 30. Right. Where is the umbrella, Katleho? 80. 80 or 81? 81. 81. So draw a circle around 81. Which way are you going to run, Tender? Tender says he's going to run to 80. Is he right? Yes. I find it easier to do the group work based on the lesson that has been given because you get immediate consolidation um, and you can immediately see which child has not grasped the concept. So you're able to assist while they're on the, con while they're on the carpet with you. Um, if you have your groups divided up um, into your stronger children, your average children and your weaker children, you can spend more time with your weaker children on the carpet and where they need the attention, where the stronger and the average children can get on with the activities. When you're teaching maths, it has to be, especially in grade one, it has to be very, very concrete. They cannot grasp matters or worksheet work. They need to first be able to physically do it before they can move on to abstract work.